Right, okay, so it's a bit of a crazy time at the moment. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, there's a chance that schools may close at the moment. I think uh, it's up to anyone at the moment as, as to whether that's a possibility or not, whether that's going to happen. There's obviously been meetings at the moment to discuss whether that's going to happen, but as it stands, schools are remaining open. Now, Considering that there are 5.2 million students that sat the GCSE last year, or, or were GCSE entries last year, it's looking like it's going to be very unlikely that any GCSEs are going to be postponed or cancelled. So before you get your hopes up and start thinking that might happen, that is going to be very, very unlikely. Okay, There's far too many students that are going to need to sit that, that exam. So regardless of whether schools close or not, those exams are still going to take place. Now, rather than talking about all the doom and gloom of what will happen in that situation I'd like to really sort of think about you know, what you can do in this situation to make sure that you are not a student that is left behind now I think if you're watching this video in the first place they've already found the channel we've already been watching the videos hopefully you've already been finding them useful okay uh, so if you have you're already in a, in a great position because you're already uh, been doing some of your own learning at home you've been watching some of the videos hopefully you've been making little revision cards or revision notes on lots of these topics and you're already getting ahead of the game okay so I just wanted to sort of give a bit of a rundown and you know particularly if you haven't or you've just found the channel as to what you can actually find here how you can use it and how you can start to think about planning your revision schedule should we get into that sort of situation uh, you know where schools closed and you're sort of left to your own devices to get on with your revision at home so obviously stick to your own revision schedule you've hopefully you've already got something in place with the exams being only 10 weeks away to that first exam uh, you know at the time of recording this um, but if you haven't maybe something to be thinking about and hopefully you can start here thinking about your maths um, and actually how you can go about planning your revision schedule so if when you are on the channel I get a lot of people that are always asking me sort of where's this video where's that video okay so obviously on the first page here I've got all the most recent uploads and I have got all these uh, playlists here that I've put everything into categories for you so it's nice and easy to find okay so if you go into the playlists um, I've broken it all down so this is the newest playlist at the top here if you are doing the higher page Paper, I've made this top five hardest GCSE question series so you can always go into there and find that I am still building this one but it does take a little bit of time to find those five hardest questions but that's a new one after a few people had asked me uh, to make that and again thank you to everybody that does comment on the videos because it's so you know helpful people saying actually you know this would be helpful to have this playlist well there you go uh, there it is it's made for you and ready for you okay so there's a, there's a whole playlist on graphs on circle theorems this for me is the biggest key playlist on the whole uh, channel here this grade 5 crossover playlist so I know a lot of people are out there and they're saying oh, you know I'm aiming for a 6 or I'm aiming for a 7 or I'm doing the higher paper so I don't need that one this is the key one for higher and foundation okay in this playlist here is where the majority of my videos are going and this is the video that I direct my own students to as well so hopefully they are out there using this uh, playlist as well uh, but within here is sort of all the key uh, topics that are in both of those exam papers so it doesn't matter which one you sit in these ones need to be perfect if you are sitting the foundation paper these topics here are the ones you need to work on if you're aiming for that grade four and five and if you're doing the higher paper and you want to secure the grade four and five or push beyond it these all need to be perfect okay as I say to some students that are sitting the higher exams there's no point in learning all the difficult ones and trying to get marks at the end of the paper if you're not getting all those marks at the start the paper and they're the ones that you really want to um, you know make sure you get as many marks on as possible okay so I would suggest for most people if you're particularly if you're new to the channel just to work through this playlist and make sure that all of these are absolutely perfect a few people were asking me recently uh, what should how what can I do what should I do with the videos how should I go about revising from them I would suggest just sort of watching the start of the video watching the first few examples that I do if you know them already and you're happy with them great maybe just skip to the end and have a look at some of the harder questions at the end of the video uh, but if not you're going to want to write those examples down maybe write that on a flashcard maybe uh, you know just on a piece of paper make some notes on it make sure that you uh, can understand exactly how to answer that question and then just write down a couple of the practice questions that I do make sure that you can get them and then they're there to practice again in the future particularly if that is a topic that you didn't understand you'll go want to go back and revisit that one okay so this is the key playlist really for anyone sitting the foundation or the higher uh, GCSE and again I still have a few more topics to add to this one okay so I am going to talk about that a little bit more in a sec in terms of uh, all the sort of videos or, or, or topics that I still have left to do and a few of the plans to sort of moving into this period of time if we do uh, you know not end up back at school 
uh, for the coming weeks um, but I'll discuss that after I've just shown you a few more of these little bits here uh, and we sort of think about uh, what we're going to do moving forward. So there's obviously uh, equations and sequences, we've got percentages uh, and then we've got statistics, ratio, geometry. Again geometry is obviously all of those angle topics, I have a lot of people that seem to not be uh, finding some of these uh, some of them are foundation and higher. Again, I'll, I'll talk about that in terms of how to look for some of them. Um, but there we go. And again, if you sort of have a look at that video at the start that I've put up there, that actually breaks down all the topics into foundation and higher. So if you watch that one there, all of that geometry in an hour, um, you know, if you're only doing the foundation paper, you only have to watch the first part of it. And then any questions on there that you're not sure on, uh, all the videos uh, sort of link into that, going into it in a little bit more depth, going over lots of different questions are all below. Okay, so they're all there and that's sort of how I would use this sort of playlist. So focusing on geometry, there you go, watch the longer video at the start, pick out the ones that you're not sure on and then find those topics just below once you know the names of what they are. Okay, so sort of moving further down, we've got the grade nine playlist. And again, in there, I've got sort of the 10 hardest questions that have come up on the most recent GCSEs. And there are tons of videos going into this playlist now. There seems to be uh, absolutely more more in there than I thought we were sort of going to go in at this point but I had so many requests for some of these topics I've ended up doing quite a lot of these so obviously if you are aiming for those higher grades do check that one out and also the grade 7 to 9 playlist that I put somewhere that somebody asked for so again thanks for uh, asking about that there's now 53 videos in there so there's absolutely tons of topics going from the sort of harder trigonometry um, with some of the harder topics in the crossover one uh, but mainly just sort of the 7 and 9 topics look things like iterations and quadratic sequences um, and a sort of negative and fractional indices and all those sorts of things but again do check those out as well uh, if you are new to the channel this is the sort of key one for you I would say and it's this ultimate revision playlist um, and it's this, those two videos up there so obviously the everything you need to pass your GCSE maths exam that's perfect so if you are doing the foundation paper if you are doing the higher paper again that's perfect for you but it's the one to look at there before moving on to the everything for a grade six to nine okay but throughout those two videos there if you're doing the higher paper I've basically covered everything Every single topic there that can come up on the GCSE, okay, on, on both of the exam, on all of the exam boards there. So do check those out. Make sure that you identify what topics you're not sure on from that, and then you can really focus your revision uh, onto some of these other, uh, onto some of the more focused videos within the playlists, okay. And then obviously there are the GCSE uh, exam walkthroughs there as well. So you can always go through and check those out. Obviously there's a few more getting uploaded into that at the moment. Do make sure that you've got your papers that you've done there. They're going to be absolutely key for you um, as you sort of move forward. Forward, okay and making sure that you've actually practiced some of these papers this foundation and higher papers in there uh, and obviously I'll walk through those go through the answers and that should be a real help for you obviously uh, you know if you're sat at home without a teacher and you're struggling to uh, figure out how to do some of those exam papers okay right okay so that is one of the things another thing that I am doing uh, and I'll link and I'll flick to that now and that is that I am putting together this website for you okay so thank you to everybody that's obviously been following uh, all the videos that are going on the channel uh, I'm not going to put all of the videos onto this website here but just to sort of little uh, snippets of some of them so what I've decided to do is just put all of these sorts of things together so it's a little bit easier for you to maybe find some of them there I mean it's just linked to some of the playlists there so I've got the grade 8 to 9 section at the top we've got grade 6 plus if that if we can actually get that to load there we go we've got the 6 plus section here that just I've uh, you know, where I've categorized them a little bit more into number, algebra, uh, geometry, probability, and then your ratio and statistics. And there's still a few more to make on each section there. But obviously do have a look at that. I've put the practice papers at the top, some, some of the quick revision videos here um, in this category, going over the overviews, and obviously those um, overall sorts of topics there that are within the playlists. And also uh, at the start, and I haven't quite finished this yet, uh, at the start, uh, we've got the higher uh, checklist there and that's what I'm going to talk about in a second but I haven't quite made the foundation one I'm hoping to make that this weekend uh, hopefully by the time that some people maybe are watching this it's already been made uh, but there we go we've got all the exam dates on there and everything else um, and so there we go that's just something else I've been putting together for everybody just making sure that you've got everything collected in one place um, but again I won't be posting everything on here um, obviously a little bit of lo loyalty to all you uh, people that have subscribed to me and that are watching this video here um, all the videos will be going uh, on the live on the channel so thank you for that um, and let's just uh, go back and have a look at some of the other little bits 
Okay, so this is obviously the checklist that I put, I put out ages ago. Again, I'll link this worksheet in the description, but I did just uh, sort of show that on the on the website there, so you can feel free to go onto that and actually uh, download that. Um, again, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. But this checklist I put out quite a while ago, and quite a lot of people were asking me, when are you going to get this done? When are you going to get that bit finished? Okay, so I just wanted to have a quick look. I, mean, I did tick some of them off, um, but there was quite a lot that I've made since then that I'm going to have to uh, sort of have a look at going over. Now, the majority of the top topics uh, for the crossover for the foundation paper I have done um, but some of these higher ones there's quite a lot left to go just in terms of some of the topics here now if I have a look this is our second part of the sheet the first half is pretty much finished okay so all of the number topics are done except for fraction calculations and percentage of an amount and some estimations there and again they're ones that I've got planned coming up over the next couple of weeks in the algebra section uh, we have geometric sequences left to do, quadratic and cubic graphs. I feel like I did quadratic and cubic graphs recently. Uh, yes, I did. I did quadratic and cubic graphs, and I did exponential graphs. They are done now. Uh, onto the other section, we've got forming and solving equations. Quite a lot of people asking for that at the moment. Let's just highlight these. We had estimations, fractions, and percentage of an amount. And over here, we've got forming and solving equations. Uh, solving quadratic equations. I have done that with the quadratic formula, but not yet by factorising. I've done it in some other videos when looking at quadratic inequalities, but I'll be doing a video on that soon. Uh, function calculations. I have done. I was going to do a little bit more of the basics behind that, although I've done sort of all the you know the hard, some of the hardest questions and stuff like that. So I may come back to that, or I have quite covered quite a lot of that, and I have done some of these algebraic fraction questions. So some of these I have actually done in some of the top five hardest questions, but I will be doing a little bit more of those. But as I've done. Some some of the other videos they're not going to be a priority as of yet but I am hoping to get all of these questions done uh, but I'll ha highlight that off anyway as something that I'm going to be looking at and then in the trigonometry section I've just finished trigonometric graphs so that is all of trigonometry complete there so as you can see it's pretty much all completed on this side okay maybe what is that one two three four five six seven with five of them being some of the key ones and then having a look at the other side uh, I've done quite a lot of these now so we've got some best, I'm looking at the uh, statistics one. So reverse mean, averages from a table and group frequency I've done. And some of the other ones there, I'm going to be putting a lot of these into sort of quite a big video. Now some of these statistics ones, I always tend to leave them quite close to the exams until I learn them, you know, just because they're quite simple. Um, but I will be doing all of those very, very soon. And again, I have done one of each in the data playlist, in the, st in the statistics playlist, so you can always check that out. Into the ratio and proportion one, I've done equating ratios now down the bottom there. I've done speed, distance, time and mass density volume. Well, I would like to do a little bit more on those, um, so I'm going to highlight those. It's going to be a bit more and the pressure force area below and then some of our best values exchange rates and recipes to be honest they're all going to go into one video and conversion graphs just looking at ratio and proportion in different ways okay so that's going to be one one big video there looking at different ways um, potentially might split up into three smaller ones but they're going to be getting done very soon as well and then it is geometry there's quite a lot to get done in geometry okay so there's some congruent triangles geometric proof and then some of this volume of 3d shapes surface area circle sectors area and circumference of circles the construction and loci is one that people keep asking me about quite a lot at the moment that one there i am actually going to have to record with a camera so that's going to take a little bit more time as well as the sort of plans and elevations i think so that might be one of the last ones i end up doing but it's quite nice and easy once we get there and then we've got some of the triangles quadrilaterals and parallel line angles uh, to look at as well so there's quite a lot in the geometry section there uh, still to make uh, but over to the right probability from a table done that frequency trees and two-way tables I've talked about that quite a lot okay done that in other topics but I will do one video on both of those the frequency trees and two-way tables and that will lock off probability as well so there's not actually too much to get done the majority is obviously in the geometry section and again there's going to be quite a lot coming out uh, the one benefit to the uh, school closure scenario is that I would actually be able to uh, do about four to five videos a day and these will all, these will all get finished in a week uh, but obviously it does just take a bit of time to get all of these done um, but that is the plan moving forward so I think I tallied it up and is about 70 odd percent of the curriculum actually finished now and obviously getting three four of these done and I think I'll be doing about five six a week at the moment um, it's, they're pretty much getting through the point when they're going to be finished relatively soon okay uh, so well done if you've been keeping up well done if you've been sticking with it there's tons there um, already that to get through and there's loads more that's uh, you know not on this uh, 
checklists uh, that can be ticked that's on the channel as well but in just to, terms of sort of uh, standalone topics uh, these were all the ones that I had planned to make obviously leading up to the GCSE um, so hopefully and I'm, I'm pretty sure that these are all going to get finished in that sort of lead up there so fingers crossed for that I'm going to try my best to upload them all. It's taken a bit. It does take a long time to actually get through them all, um, but there we go. That is the sort of plan moving forward with some of these topics uh, and the sort of plan for the next uh, couple of weeks in terms of this lead up for the GCSE. Right, let's have a look back at the channel. Right, okay. So in terms of plans, then um, you know, if school does get closed, this is going to be a key playlist here. These GCSE maths practice paper playlist. So within there, I am going to be putting in any sort of practice papers. I'm going to be making some practice papers for you to sort of be having a go at. I've already made these three. They've been really popular. People have really enjoyed them. So I will be making some more of those over the coming weeks as well, particularly if we end up not being in school. Okay, I will be doing these practice papers. I'll be putting one of those out most days, uh, and I'll be also uh, doing some live streams as well, making sure that we go over some topics uh, and just having a look at sort of uh, setting out a schedule for the day. It might be sort of a video in the morning, a live stream at midday, a practice paper later on in the day, and then obviously I'll upload all the solutions to that along with some of the other topic videos. So everything is going to be there. There's going to be tons of maths revision that you're going to be able to do if obviously, and you know, fingers crossed it doesn't, but if this scenario does occur where we don't end up uh, in school for the next few weeks there will be lots of resources for you, okay? So there's absolutely tons to be getting through, absolutely tons to be looking at, loads that you can be thinking about in terms of your revision. And it's now just thinking about obviously working through all of these and making your way ahead with them, okay? And if we do close, there's tons here to be getting through. And obviously a lot of people are always uh, messaging things through and hopefully that will be helpful. Okay, so obviously stick with the channel, um, keep working on some of those topics and let me know if there's any other topics that you'd like me to do. Obviously always just drop a comment, I'll try and do everything that I can. But there we go, hopefully that's something to sort of uh, ease your worries in this uh, time at the moment. But there we go, um, I'll be posting another video very soon. Uh, and again, thank you for everybody that's commenting, all the nice comments, all the subscribers, it's absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you for the next video.